Hi, welcome to my studio. My name is Judith Braun, previously known as Judith Wine Person. My married name was Judith Weinman, and I changed it to Wine Person. Uh, I'm going to take you on a quickie tour of my life, uh, starting with my first studio. I love the way I'm holding the pencil so astutely and sitting so straight. And I especially like the little hammer in the corner because this is exactly me. I'm an artist and I can build anything. I was always an artist, even in the hippie days, carrying this conga drum around the Lower East Side of Manhattan. And that was before I left for the commune to garden and bake. But my peace and love train derailed when I literally ran pregnant from my abusive husband. And we were living in a Hare Krishna temple. Fast forward, I'm safe, baby safe, back to school, without walls. They actually gave me a diploma for all of that life learning. But then, lucky me, 1978, I met and married a great new guy who sent me to grad school and built me a studio where I painted my alter ego. So with the angels out of the way, I could proceed to fulfill my wine persona with accessories like this lovely lapel pin and home decor. But it was these pussy pieces that put me on the map in 1988 when I showed them with group material. And onward through the ranks of the alternative spaces. White Collins, Art in General, Drawing Center. 1990, I had a solo show called Read My Pussy. 1994, The Bad Girls Show. That was There's always a silver lining. It gave me a chance to write. For example, this little book of things that I'm just not sorry about. I am not sorry that I am all alone and have no one to clean up after. I am not sorry that I am not having any more sex that I don't want. What should I do? What is my calling? Can I do other things besides art? No! Faux finishing cannot be your life. You must return to art. What? Can I find a way back on the art train that took off without me? through every MFA studio across this great country? Yes, I can. So, I rented out my living space, bought a hot plate, moved into my studio, and locked the door. Behind the closed doors of my laboratory, I discovered symmetrical procedures, three simple rules of, to make my drawings. Graphite or charcoal, these are carbon-based materials only. Abstraction, symmetry. With these simple rules, there are endless possibilities, and therefore, like, endless, endless surprises. For example, starting with just this simple shape, I did all of these possibilities. These are two other examples of drawings that were built off of a similar theme. These are completely graphite on top of white paper, so the white form is really just the paper left. So I have to work very, very carefully. <laughs> if I could use one word to describe what drives my work, it would be pleasure, because without pleasure, all we'd have is a bunch of stuff vibrating. So, magical elves, I hope you get some pleasure from the piece that I have done for this challenge.